Hello and welcome to this week's Angel Oracle card reading for week commencing the 18th of March 2024. My name is Ray and I'm a guide who helps you remember your divine presence so that you can heal your past, create your future and transform your present. Raise your consciousness, remember why you are here, come out of that spiritual closet and transition on your spiritual journey to understand and know who you truly are to fulfill your purpose in this lifetime. Now this week we're going to be using the Earth Magic Oracle Cards by Stephen D. Farmer. But as always, before we get into this week's reading, I'd like to say thank you so, so much for your continued support. It really does mean a lot to me to be able to do a service to you and for you to trust me enough to use my services. So thank you so, so much. And of course, you know, we're coming up to the uh, spring equinox. So this um, Tuesday, the 19th at 8 p.m., I am going to be doing an online Easter spring equinox celebration, which you can join in um, via Zoom or at my Radiant Angels Facebook page. Um, message me direct um, if you're not a member of Radiant Angels already. Um, if you'd like to join and I can send you the Zoom link. It's absolutely amazing when we do these celebrations and everyone who joins, um, you know, you get to know and understand a bit about the history, um, the rituals, the tools, everything you can use to actually make an absolutely brilliant um, equinox. Um, so as always, I'll give the cards a quick cleanse and a bless. So what does everyone who's watching this need to know for their high good? The week commence in the 19th of March 2000. Oh, okay, so we've got one jumper. 2024. Okay, we'll go with that one. One more card, we'll go with that one. Okay, so the cards we have, the card that came jumping out was Shaman, Ancient Healing Wisdom. And we have River, Movement. And we have ocean, ebb and flow. Okay, so what the cards are saying to you this week, that this week is a time to actually um, connect to your ancestors, to actually allow yourself to start healing the ancient um, uh, issues, you know, that have, that have come down through the ages, through the centuries, um, you, you know, that affect your lineage, um, you know, that bring in those patterns, those issues, you know, that maybe you've got an issue or a pattern that you know your one of your parents had and you know that your grandparent had. And, you know, when you look back, it continues going all the way back. And this week you're being given the chance to actually heal that, to actually, um, you know, heal, transmute it so that it's not going to be affecting the future generation. So even those that are already born, you will be changing that energy so they will not, um, you know, have those same patterns. You're actually going to be, be stopping that, you know, and look, you know, look online, um, talk to older people. What ancient wisdom, knowledge do they have? You know, look back at, you know, what are, um, healing methods were used in the past, what herbs, what natural things were used. It's time this week to actually start looking back at all the ancient wisdom that has worked through centuries that we seem to have forgotten in this lifetime. And by doing that, you're going to allow your energy to start moving, to um, allow, you know, the energy, as, as you're moving your energy and you're moving your ancestral energy and the future generation energy, you know, it's moving part of the collective. It's allowing you to move forward, to actually um, clear things, to, to allow you to bring things into your life that you may not um, have been able to bring in so far. Because when you start clearing that and looking at the ancient wisdom, you learn and understand things in a completely different way, which helps you change the movement, you know, with the ebb and flow of the of the ocean. You know, you know, you may find this week you might go forward and then suddenly, oh, you go back. But then all you need to do is take that time. OK, let's relook look at this wisdom. Go forward. Oh, OK, no, maybe I need to go back a little bit. So this week really is a week um, of experimentation, of being curious, what works, what doesn't work, 
um, with the ancient wisdom and healing knowledge that, that has come down through the centuries and tap into that. And you will find that not only will it clear the um, ancestral path, but it will clear your path and future generations path and things will be um, a lot more um, positive for you as you're moving forward. And that's really the, all the guidance they're giving me this week. As always, I draw these cards for what you need to know for your highest good. So you may get a completely different reading from these cards. One card may resonate more with you than the others. And that is absolutely fine. I draw these cards for what you need to know for your highest good. So please do let me know in the comments whether any of these cards resonated um, with you or message me privately. I always reply to everyone who answers. So I'll show you the cards again. Shaman, ancient healing wisdom. Look to the ancient wisdom. Look at healing your ancestral path. What wisdom knowledge did our ancestors have? Maybe even do some shamanic work this week. You know, there are plenty of guided meditations um, that you can do online. River, movement. You know, allow things to start moving now. And when you start working on yourself, that river starts moving and flowing really smoothly. An ocean, ebb and flow, you know, just because sometimes things are moving forward and then they move slightly back, that doesn't mean you need to stop. Think of that river and that movement and move forward with it. So as I said, please do let me know how those cards resonated. Um, and of course, do check out uh, the um, Autumn Equinox uh, uh, online celebration that we're doing uh, Tuesday the 19th. Um, and if you're watching this on Sunday, do check out my show tomorrow, the 18th, where I've got um, a lovely na uh, lady um, by the name of Sandra on my show. Um, so I'm really looking forward to having that conversation uh, with, with her. So please do check that show. And if you're watching on the Monday, watch later today. And if you're watching later in the week, watch the replay. Um, it's always enlightening um, with the guests I have. And don't forget to check out everything else I offer. And if you are feeling a little bit stuck, stuck or lost, then I do offer a free 20 minute um, video call to have a quick discussion where you are, where you can go and whether I can actually help you with that. So have a wonderful week and I will speak to you next week. Take care. Bye.